Good evening. All World Stage once again presents the weekly underground TV show, New Wave Theater. Taped live at the Burbank Studio Center, New Wave Theater is a series examining and monitoring LA's exploding new music renaissance. With your host and guide, the delightful Peter Ivers, ghost hosts and crew, we welcome you back to New Wave Theater. Hi, welcome to New Wave Theater. LA's new music, New Wave scene, is expanding faster than anyone imagined. With New Wave radio networks springing up and LA's new music bands playing all the new national variety TV shows, the new music scene slowly moves in on a sleeping America. It was only eight months ago when Atlantic Records A&R boss said in the Music Connection he was so sure New Wave wouldn't make it that he'd quit the biz if it did. He's probably quit by now. Because slowly, without shame, the record companies, still reeling from last year's continuing slump, are cautiously signing up the new music bands. The new music movement, with its myriad performance art culture, diverse musical styles, and ring of truth, is right on time to be seen in all its variety and glory. Part of the strong backbone of the umbrella known as New Wave is the category that covers the performance art area, perhaps the most free and symbolically the strongest. Though it can and sometimes does use music, it is art without structure. It's therapeutic art without form or preconceived boundaries of reference. It's therefore art that lives the meaning and purpose of art. As viewers, it's art that leaves us in the absence of clear direction, alone with ourselves, without expectation. How we understand it reflects what we know of ourselves, and our reactions can lead us to new freedoms, limited only by our own limitations. Like a band of strangers singing folk songs in a World War II bomb shelter, we've only ourselves and each other to help ease us into the next unknown moment. Enjoy the show. In a swift stream, you may behold a twig held steady for a moment by the play of the water. Please remember that you're dealing with a human form. You saw it here first. And what you saw here first is direct from the asylum, Ward 8, Butch.
They're in Ward 8, but you're in Ward 9. Sherry, it's okay, it's us. Just calm down, huh? How long have you been here? I don't know. I've been in Ward 8 about, I think it's going on five years now. This is a chance for you to expose the um, nastiness of the place. What do you see? What makes you so, so destroyed? My doctors. Do you know who you are, Sherry? Do you know oh, what you're... I hope I never find out. They won't let me know. Ask them. They know who I am. Who is she, Angela? I don't know. What kind who of is doctor she? are you? She just walked in here. Hey, Cliff, who is she? What planet? Uranus? You, are you fixated, nerves? Don't talk to my doctors like that. They're sick. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even be alive. They're sicker than you are, Sherry. That's right. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't even be here. Come back know. to us. They no. Know. Sherry. They no. Don't, they don't know the answers. Go back to Melrose and buy another different color pair of sunglasses. If it wasn't for my doctors, I wouldn't even be here. <laughs> Hello, Mom. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Sunday morning. Good morning, America. Butch. New Wave Theater is proud to present Johanna Wendt performing an untitled piece.
Hi there, Chris Ginkle here. Friends, are you afraid to smile for no reason? Are you lying in your sleep and using tooth decay as an excuse for not knowing yourself? Be honest now. Are you afraid to look in the mirror when you brush your teeth? Well, kids, if you're afraid to answer yes to any of these questions, you need Genkel's boneless toothpaste. The zesty oracle jolt that comes in a tube. Genkel's toothpaste with miracle ingredient, Pentothal 16, comes with over a dozen household amphetamines along with a fast-acting sodium pentothal, the drug the astronauts use. All this together in a tasty sirloin gluten base speeds Genkel's protection right to where you need it. A straight shot that carries a pure chemical message of joy or sorrow depending upon who you are. Genkel's oral oracles are guaranteed to tell you who you are and where you're going, especially if you don't want to know. Genkel's is only $13.95 at your favorite store or clinic. Now, come on, talk to the dead while you brush your teeth. Get a kick in the pants if you're a gherkin, all with Genkel's patented truth face. The oracle in a tube from your friends at Genkel's. Their first time in L.A. Prefix song about inner pornography and moral decay. Embryo shots, embryo shots, embryo shots. And your philosophy. <laughs> What's the use of writing? My penis begins to rise. Watching made for TV movie. Stacked to my TV screen. Put you naked on the bathroom tile. Stick by the bossy car. Do the survive on a bra. Writing, what's uh, next to my TV screen? She naked on the bathroom tile. I feel like God stab me in the back. say that most of your songs are about morals, the decay of morals, uh, the breaking up of morals. Think, what are morals? What do you mean? It's just a lie is what it is. Because there's no such thing really unless if you really, you know, if you want to harm or something. It's just about God, you know, helping God. Task. Y your job here is to help God with his task. 
Well, my God, my goal is to help, you know, sin, help spread out sin. For God. <clears throat> to make salvation happen quicker? Yes, exactly. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, what can we say after that? Not much. <laughs> David. Are you brothers? No. You, you dress very differently and your, you know, your rhythm is, um... Incredible. <laughs> incredible, syncopated. What's the musical place that you see yourself? Do you feel yourself in this futuristic world? I, I play the bass, got four strings. I noticed that you, have, you both had very old and funky instruments. <laughs> is that because... No, the only reason that we're doing this is because we're carrying on the philosophy when... When, you know, it all started. What is your philosophy? I don't have a. I don't even want to go into it. I've said it so many times. It really disgusts me to go. Into. You haven't said it to this audience. Well, basically, uh, my my whole philosophy has changed. Fifteen. The philosophy is. <laughs> so I I couldn't go into it because I don't have it defined well enough right now. Okay. You don't have to. Go. What? Prefix. Say yeah. yeah. What should I say? Say right, goodbye. Wait, there was something I was going to say. No, something. I'll tell something meaningful. Oh. We're all friends of Om, Barbara, Moisha, Therese. He's going to do his classic, Mr. President. Om. <laughs>
since 1984 we're at the Democratic National Convention. How are we going to handle Mr. Reagan? Well, you put the question to me sort of in a difficult manner. It was according to, uh, I was asked some questions, how are we going to achieve world peace? And as president, I can say my powers to do that have absolutely no power. Then how can we achieve world peace? Well, I can't rightly say that I know anything. Can't you say that you have some plan, some method, some way that we can possibly work towards it? Well, not with the powers invested to me as president, I can do absolutely nothing. What about the rest of the humans? Can they also do nothing or can we do something? Well, it's up to them actually. If they're going to change anything, they have to do it with their own ideas instead of changing a political leader. So there's hope for the future? If we all pray a little bit, put our hands together, hold hands, there could be a future. Okay, but let's change our political leaders from the inside out. Thank you, thank you, my fellow our candidate. Every time any conscious action is repeated, certain effects follow as a result. One of the results is that that action becomes less and less conscious. As it's repeated, less and less awareness is required. Finally, it's done unconsciously. This cycle provides the amazing device that forces the creation of new art forms. The recognition of what art is has become forgotten by repetition, and the idea of art as alarm clock has to be rediscovered by each new generation. Thus, art's function and role through our kaleidoscopic times is decided to a large degree by the prevailing social conditions. It can be one of nature's gentle reminders, or the people's representative at the world sleep contest. For its purpose is both mirror and crystal ball, its mission to reflect and foresee, its undoing is interpretation. Its downfall is tragic. Its future is unlimited. Its failure is misunderstanding. Its method, freedom. Its goal, change. Its responsibility is awareness. Its reason is pure. Its foundation is eternal. Its enemy is ignorance. Its friend is the child. Its power is truth. A New Wave Theater Bible Bulletin just in says, except ye be as little children, you shall in no way enter the kingdom of heaven. Art's limit is the unknown a.k.a. home sweet home. On behalf of our producers, All World Stage, this is your rallying host, Rivet Boy Ivers, wishing you a radium rhapsody in the Roadhouse of Ra. Till next week. You have been watching UA Theater, a satellite production of All World Stage, recorded live at the Burbank Studio Center, directed by D. Joe, written by D. Joe Benet Oaks, editing facilities provided by Bob Bechtold, audio videograph. Sound by Stan Andersby and Marcy Weinberg. Second unit production, Tim Sassoon and Takashi Kimi. Camera operators, Kami Sun and D. Joe. Production assistant, Takiva Mockenberg. The producer wishes to thank Dan Boley, Steve Silas, Wendy Atheda, Isao Shinagawa, Albert Crane, Richard Skidmore, George Cook, the ghost host, Ben.